Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about Alembic. So Alembic is a, a Python based data migration tool used along with SQL Alchemy. So by using this tool, we write uh, database migrations so that uh, we don't need to write the uh, custom SQL queries uh, to create tables and modify uh, the tables. So let's uh, get started with the uh, Alembic. First, let me install Alembic. Let me go to VS Code. And uh, let me do pip install Alembic. So we have successfully installed the Alembic version 1.8.1. Now uh, we, we can um, initialize the um, Alembic uh, project. To do that, we need to do Alembic init. Before that, let's see the available commands. Alembic h. When we do this command, it will show our list of available uh, commands. So here we can see all available commands uh, from the Alembic. So when we do init, so it initializes the new scripts directory and we can write uh, uh, database migrations. So in Alembic, we call it as uh, versions. So let's uh, initialize Alembic, Alembic init, Alembic. So this can be anything, but uh, generally we use Alembic to Alembic as a, a directory name. So we have successfully created the Alembic. So here you can uh, see that. So it created versions, which is empty because we didn't uh, create any version set. So this is the env file. This is the uh, file. Uh, it loads the alembic.dn ini configurations and uh, runs the um, versions in order to apply the uh, changes. So let's see uh, the ini file. So here we can see that uh, SQL Alchemy URL. So this is the uh, actual URL that will be used to connect to a database. So we need to provide driver, username, and password, and host name, and database name. So this uh, will be used with the uh, env.py file and uh, connects to the db. So um, let's see how we can uh, do that. Let me go to my... Um, so for this uh, tutorial, we will be using um, Postgres SQL as a db. And uh, we will be creating two tables for this. One is product and uh, the other one is category. So um, let's uh, go to database and uh, so here i have uh, the database awesome store inside that i didn't have any tables let me refresh and see so there are no tables currently so um by using uh, alembic let, we can create um revision and then um, apply that uh, to create the tables let's go back to vs code again and um, let's see the help text alembic so this brings up the so here we have the um, revision yeah so in order to create a new revision we need to use this command in order to create a new uh, migration so i want to create a um, category table so i will be using alembic revision hyphen m and uh, category table so once i uh, run this command alembic revision hyphen m and then uh, the revision message so it will create a new um, um, revision in versions. So here uh, we can see that a file is created. So let's go to the file. So here uh, we have the uh, revision ID and uh, down revision and branch labels depend on and upgrade and downgrade. So this is the basic template uh, that will that uh, that is provided by Alembic. So we need to write our um, migration commands here in order to apply uh, the DB changes. So we want to create the um, category table. For that uh, we need ID, name, description, and timestamp. So um, let's go back to the official documentation and uh, see how we can uh, do these operations. Let's go back to Google Chrome. So here we can see uh, how we can edit INA file and create migration scripts and, and something like that. So before that, uh, we need to configure the DB. So let me uh, do that first. So I already have uh, an article. So how we can uh, do that? Let me go to the article. So this is the article that I already uh, written. Let me go here and yeah. So we need to change the um, DB URL from this to this. And uh, actually we need to uh, provide actual database username, but uh, that is not recommended. We need to load it from the, uh, the environment itself. So in order to do that, we need to make a few changes to uh, Alembic env.py file. So we need to add um, this uh, section in order to uh, use db user and db pass all these things because uh, otherwise uh, string interpolation uh, won't work. 
so let's uh, do without uh, uh, yeah let, let's do that with the um, interpolation by making these changes first let me copy this and go to yes code and I'll make I'll just um, remove this and add this so I'll be using Postgres SQL and the DB user so I need to load these uh, values from the database so um, we have let me save this and we also need to make changes to env.py file so um, otherwise uh, this string interpolation won't work we need to set the uh, configurations here okay now we have this and uh, okay we think i need to import the os this module okay so now i have the um updated env file so i'll just need to export my uh, db user db password and uh, db host db name so let me copy uh, all these and export okay let me get the script so these are the uh, my database uh, credentials so host is local host and uh, db password is root you can use anything you want but uh, uh, I uh, generally use this so um, we need to uh, use the strong password and, uh, this is the DB user so you can create a custom uh, DB user if you want so let me export all these values okay so let me check we actually export it or not so we can see that uh, it's working so now we have exported the uh, DB values let me we don't need this anymore Saved this and we also saved a env file so now uh, we also have the uh, revision ready so now we need to uh, write the uh, create operations as um, you know i didn't remember the actual uh, statements so i just need to go to um, official documentation to uh, find the operations let me go back to the browser and so this is the official documentation so when we click on the modules here we can find the operations alembic operations and uh, yeah we need to just click on this uh, alembic operations here we get the um, we want to create the table so let's search for this so this is the long documentation we need to uh, have patience to read all this documentation so i'll just uh, search for uh, create table so this is the uh, create table operation that we have so we need to uh, use this operation in order to add the tables so as you can see we are, we are uh, using integer varchar in column uh, from uh, sql alchemy so let me copy this and go back to VS Code. Now we just need to update the upgrade. So the downgrade version is none because we didn't have any other versions yet. So let me paste that. So this is the table name. We, we want to create a category table, ID, name, description, and uh, timestamp. So let me change the account to um, category and we didn't have the uh, column imported so we need to import that as well let me go back and copy this so we don't need this and we grab we need integer and which is a primary key and uh, it needs to be auto incremented okay auto increment equals to true and then uh, we need to have name worker of 30 characters and uh, which is not nullable equals to false and we have the description which is of uh, 255 characters and we need to have timestamp that's also we can import from uh, sql alchemy itself and uh, the this, our default value is uh, now so we also need to import that uh, from uh, sql alchemy itself okay so now we have the um, sql alchemy and what else so we have id we have name and we have description we have timestamp okay now we just need to uh, see the uh, actual x uh, sql 
So in order to see the SQL, we need to uh, run the command and uh, get the SQL first. So in order to do that, we can use uh, upgrade command. Arabic upgrade. So we can we can see this. So we can use SQL hyphen hyphen SQL to get the SQL. So don't remit SQL to database. Dump standard output file instead. So we can see the actual uh, generated SQL file with the hyphen hyphen SQL. So let let me do alambic upgrade. Um, right. Hyphen. So this is the SQL that uh, that when we do upgrade, this is the SQL and that will be executed on the database. So it will create a category table inside that we have a, a ID with serial and name, all this. So this will be auto generated and applied onto the DB. So and Alambic also create an, another table which is a Alambic revision in order to have the uh, what are the previous revisions uh, that are already applied. So which will be used uh, by Alambic to manage those uh, um, versions or uh, migrations. So in order to apply that, we need to use um, Alambic upgrade head command. So let me copy these commands into a file so that uh, we can quickly use these commands. Let's open this, clear it up, and then Alambic upgrade head. Let's run it. So we can see that it is um, already applied. So let's go back to the database and see whether um, the database migrations already, uh, I mean, the database migrations applied or not. Let me go back to PG admin and um, refresh the tables. So here I can see two tables, Alambic version and category. So let me see uh, the rows view all data. So here we can see that we have a revision, I mean, a version number. So that uh, is exactly the same as um, the migration file that we uh, created. So let me go back uh, to the VS Code and show you that. Let's click on this. Let's try to find it. So here we can see that the exact match. And let's go back to um, pgadmin again and uh, open category. So currently we didn't have any other, but we can see that we have ID and uh, name, description, timestamp. So we can do a downgrade as well for this. So let's uh, try to implement that. Um, okay, let me go back to VS Code again. And when we downgrade, so this is the oper for upgrade, we have the uh, create table operation. For downgrade, we need to uh, delete the table. So we need to just do op dot uh, drop table. So we, we can uh, find this uh, operation from uh, the official documentation as well. So let me show you that. Let's go to uh, Google Chrome and hit find drop table. So here we can see the drop table as well. So we just need to pass the table name so that it can uh, delete the uh, table when we do a upgrade. Let me go back to code again. So let's write the downgrade drop table and then we need to pass the table name. So our table name is category. So we can simply give name and the command that we will be using is that alambic space downgrade and then the number of uh, revisions that we want to upgrade so we need to downgrade per uh, one migration so we need to give uh, minus one so when we run this this will um, delete the existing um, table which is a category let's uh, try it and see so it is successful let's go back to tb and uh, let's refresh the tables so here we can see that we have only one uh, table which is a uh, alambic so we didn't have the other table. So let's try to reapply the migration again. Now we can see, let's go back and see. Let me refresh. So here we can see the two tables, category uh, and uh, Alambic version. Let, let's create uh, one more uh, um, revision for uh, creating the uh, product table. So um, let me type Alambic revision hyphen M and then product table 
so when we do this it will create a new migration or a new revision so we have you can see that here we have a down version and a revision so this is the previous version that we have so this way alembic will uh, you know manage the migration so it won't apply the already applied migrations so we will just need to uh, create this table so id name quantity price and category id and timestamp so category is a prime, uh, foreign key so um, let me go here and uh, copy the required columns let's import that don't need this statement anymore and uh, we need this operation need to create the table and the table name is uh, product and uh, we need id we need name and we don't need description for this but uh, we need price let's go for quantity first we need quantity and uh, this is integer okay let me copy we have quantity and then we also need to have price which is a decimal price and then decimal we also need to import that from sql alchemy decimal okay now we have that we have id name quantity price and uh, timestamp um, yeah now we need to have the uh, foreign key relationship so we need to use a column okay, let me copy this column first and the column name is category id and which is a uh, foreign key so uh, we need to import that from sql alchemy foreign key so let me use this foreign key and we need to have foreign key for uh, category dot id this table and the column name is id so now we have a foreign key and uh, yeah so we are all set so let's uh, write the downgrade uh, migration as well hope you don't drop table and just pass the table name product let's see uh, the generated uh, um sql for this so we already save this uh, command and make upgrade head sql so we can see that product column category we can't generate it for null type so we need to mention the uh, column that it should not allow uh, null type null value. so let me mention that let's see um okay let's go back to official documentation and see how we can add foreign key um yeah we need to use the type as well that's what we are missing so let me use column type and once we have the column type let me save that and clear console and get this good so here we can see that um, this is the generated SQL statement so we here we have the uh, product table and uh, we are also updating the um, Arabic version version number two the latest so um, let's apply that and now we can check this in the uh, database let me go back to DB so let me refresh the table and here we can see that uh, product table as well so let me open this properties we have a foreign key okay foreign key constraint category id and uh, we have all the uh, expected columns with the uh, expected values so um so this is how we can uh, create migrations and uh, um apply those migrations with the uh, alambic we can also write uh, uh, alter application oh, sorry alter operations and uh, ddl statements using um anamic so we can let's check that in the official documentation so here we can see all other uh, ddl internals and all differences so when we go here on uh, top right side we can find modules when we click on that we get all these operations and some of the operations are specific to um dependent databases like mysql and uh, postgres sql so when we have uh, those kind of uh, things we can uh, go to the documentation and uh, use the uh, respective uh, operations yeah that's all uh, for this uh, video